Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, another episode of the Moyamon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, so we're going to hopefully do the rest of the gym today. Uh, I put Cooper up front because of uh, just type coverage, and he's stronger. So I have leveled up some people uh, between last episode and this one. Ooh, uh, okay. That was a good choice on my part to have uh, Cooper up front. Because Blaze Kick. Oh, really? You missed? God damn incompetent. Okay, come on. Hit with it. Good job. Super effective. Oh, he had Aftermath. Damn it. Okay, whatever. A little damage isn't too bad. Mankey, I don't have anyone with uh, flying type, so I'm just going to... Uh, uh, do Shadow Force. Because... Okay, so Seed Bomb, Shadow Force. Okay, good. Uh, and... Awesome. Okay. Buizel. Um He's a water type. But I don't have any... Londa has a seed bomb, so I'm going to try Londa. Uh, I took the XP share off of uh, Yeet. Um, just to uh, grind. And I just didn't put it back on. Okay, you swagger. That means he's going to be confused, but stronger. That's sometimes good, sometimes bad. It really depends on whether or not... Okay, yeah, it was bad. Um, okay, I'm just going to go in with... Uh, I'm going to go in with their home run. Uh, it really depends on whether or not they hit that first time. Because Swagger is kind of double-edged, because, yeah, it basically just gives the person a reason to switch out their Pokemon. Nothing really much more than that. Uh, but uh, if you use Swagger and the opponent hits, they're going to hit you harder than they would have previously. So it's either negative toward you, towards you or good if the per uh, if the person keeps hitting themselves uh, with their uh, boosted attack. Uh, and that's it. Okay. So... Uh, my people took a little bit of damage. Um, okay, so that moves. The first one was super obnoxious in how long it took. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Because uh, I would rather not use uh, potions and whatnot, unless I absolutely had to. Uh-huh. Okay. And, uh... Depending on how fast I get through all this, uh, I might go and try and catch a Pokemon on the route that's, like, over there. Uh, because... Uh, I caught Shanshrew in the Eterna City Lake, so he's registered to Eterna City and not the Route 2 something. Uh, probably Route 211 or something. I think it's 211 or 215. Um, and I still have Cooper up front. Uh, but yeah, you can see their level's 23. Didn't do anything to Dryad, got Yeet some levels. Dia's still there. Dehomer, I think, got like one level. I think Londa was always at 21. Okay. So, uh, let's try this. Okay. Okay, Trap Inch. That's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna use Shadow Force to try and, uh, see what moves it knows. Okay, new Gust. Good thing I dodged. Uh, wouldn't want a accidental super effective crit. Okay. And Cooper's gonna be at level 24 for the gym. Great. Um, I'm thinking for the gym leader, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put, uh, Homura out front, because Homura is, uh, one type, I believe, just fire. Um, so there's less to, I'm not gonna go to the, uh, Pokemon Center, because I only used one Shadow Force. Um... Only has one type and is legendary, so has just better stats in general. Uh, and then I'm going to try and uh, do first turn 
uh, Shadow Force, or well, actually, I might just put DOT's uh, first turn uh, just to see how it goes. Um, but I'm gonna save. Uh, I mean, I know it doesn't really matter, but figured I'll save anyway. Okay. <sighs> okay. Gardenia. Great naming sense. Uh, I wonder if, uh, okay, didn't start with like a legendary. Uh, I'm wondering if like every uh, gym leader was given at least like a guaranteed legendary. I did encounter a Reggie Ice while I was, uh, uh, while I was, um, what, what do you, what you call it? Minimize? Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, good thing I'm using a DOT. Okay, so I'm gonna take damage from Hail, I'm gonna take damage from Leaf Seed, but I'm gonna get back my, my Hail damage, and then I'm going to Fire Spin to put the final DOT on it. Um, facade. What does Facade do? Okay, did quite a bit of damage. Trapped in a Vortex. Okay, I get Show Bell, one health for some reason. So it's always such a like an insignificant amount of damage. I wonder if it's because uh, I only activates when I do damage, and it's uh, directly dependent on how much damage I do. So if I used a stronger Pokemon, it would do more. Um, I'm going to actually use uh, Super Potion. It was 50. Uh, it did 30 damage to me. So I'm going to use this just to try and keep it close to topped off. Uh, used Facade again. So 75 down to 45. So it seems to do a guaranteed 30 damage. Um, and I'm not sure how many potions gym leaders have in this gen. Um, I'm gonna try, and, I'm gonna do Barrage, and, uh, okay, the, okay, did a bit, oh, really, I missed? Okay, then I'm gonna have to use a, uh, like a Super Potion, or even my Hyper Potion at this point, because I, I don't want to lose something here. Okay, come on, kill it, kill it. Damn it. So close. Okay. Can't can't reflexively do stuff that I would uh, otherwise. Hyper Potion was 200, so I'm going to use my Soda Pop. Uh, Soda Popinski, for those of you that know uh, Punch-Out. Uh, okay. Used one Super Potion. Okay. So, both did about the same thing, but I still have all my DOTs on it. Uh, so... I still have a bit more of an advantage, uh, but I still don't really know the, uh, oh, I think the fire spin broke. Okay, so I'm going to use fire spin again. Ooh, minimize raise to evasiveness. Not liking that. Damn, yeah, that's why I'm not liking it. But luckily, Leech Seed is on there until the Digi, not Digimon. God, whenever I play Digimon, I say Pokemon, and now I'm saying Poke, uh, saying the other one for the other thing. Okay. Come on. Okay, facade 80 down to what? 47. Uh, that did uh, just under 40. So it did like 33 damage. Okay. I should be able to survive it uh, with what I have now. Uh, I'm going to try fire spin again. 49 to 16. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to you. Yep, just doing one. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably use uh, Super Potion now. Uh, I'm not sure how many Super Potions the opponent uh, gym leader has. It's probably two or three. But if I'm able to... Uh... Oh, that was my phone. Uh, HP... 
Super Potion. Oh, no. Okay. Come on. Let's get through this. 50. You Zen Headbutt. Okay. So it probably ran out of Facade. But it's taking the hail damage and whatnot. So it's probably accepted its death. Perfect. Post Persian. Yeah, I was buffeted. 633. Okay. Celebi. Um. Uh. I'm going to switch out to. Yeah, it's grass type. So I'm going to switch out to Cooper. Have it use Blaze Kick. Um. And hopefully that'll be enough to KO it. Okay, level 20. Blaze Kick. Ooh, you, it went first? That's honestly, I find that surprising. Okay. Okay, I don't think that's uh, in uh, Super Potion. Ooh, that might be in Super Potion range now. Um, I'm going to use Blaze. No, you can't. Good. It's all about reading the. Uh, ooh, and that might KO it now because it wasn't a full heal. Um, okay, but the Sandstorm will kill it, which is nice. Awesome. And I was buffeted. See, I always thought it was buffeted <laughs> uh, when I was a child. Um, Iglybuff. That's the uh, pre-evolved form of Jigglypuff. Um, do I have anything? Oh, I meant to check the moves. Well, uh, Dia, you should be fine against it, in all honesty. Uh, level 22, we're the same level, but it's a, like a super, it's like a baby-esque Pokemon. Um, Stone Edge with the Hard Stone should be enough to... Okay, good. I, I was honestly worried, because uh, if I misread that, <laughs> I would have just uh, killed one of my better Pokemon. But, good job, guys. We got through uh, second gym. I must say it before, but you're really tough. Was it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Received a Forest Badge from Gardenia. Awesome. I can use Cut Outside of Battle, uh, and Pokemon will be up to me level 30. Okay. Unless that's just trade Pokemon. TM86. Uh, has the move Power Gem. One of my favorite moves. Heavier the further more damage this move will cause. I have a feeling it's not Power Gem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's check what move it is. You know. Uh, over here. Uh, Giga Impact. Oh, it does have Power Gem. Oh, no, okay. So, it gave me Power Gem, but it was describing Grass Knot, uh, because that's the move that she was probably going to give me. Uh, okay. I was wondering why that was so odd. Awesome. Now that I have cut, I can teach it to someone, uh, and then I'll be able to do the uh, Team Galactic stuff. Perfect. Dun dun dun. Bum bum bum. Oh wow. Bum and out. Okay. So let's. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, okay. I'm gonna teach. Cut to Yeet. Yeah. Uh. Which move? This one is just uh, not all that good. Okay. Learned cut. Good. And now I'm going to... Uh, I did say we would, if there was time, and we have like a minute or a minute or two. Uh, I might just go over for this episode in congratulations for myself um, to go catch Pokemon. And I do have enough Pokeballs, so that should be good. I'm just, I just have Dia out front because uh, Paralyze. Uh, so... 211. Okay. Okay, come on. Give me something good. Okay, Ursaring. That's good. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to evolve it, but <laughs> uh, it's good. Thunder Wave. Okay. Focus Energy. Now it has a high crit chance. Um. Acid is rather weak. Yes, it's quite weak. 
So I'm just going to use acid a bit. Karate chop. That's not good. Okay. I only did 10. Even if it did crit, I would only go down to half health. That was a crit. But I shouldn't worry about it. I think I can't escape now. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to use acid one more time. Because even if it does crit, I don't think it would kill the Ursa Ring. Aeroblast. That's wind or flying type on my ground. Okay. So I'm going to try... Pokeball. Uh, let's try the Premier Ball. Come on, give me an Earth Ring. Give me a normal type. One, two, three. Yo, what's boy? Okay. Uh, okay, Earth Ring. Uh, and its territory leaves scratches on trees that bear delicious berries or fruits. Okay. Um. What, uh, what rings? Uh, Ursa Ring. You know what? Uh, nope. B. Er. Ursula. There you go. Oh, nope. Ursula. Uh, that's a fine name. Evil bitch, right? Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep... Uh, well, gonna, well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep uh, Sandshrew in my party or not. Um, I, I'm kind of debating it just for type coverage, but I also need to evolve it. Uh, but... I can decide that later. So with that, I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode of the Moimon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Bye.